Hi friends, welcome again to the Creation and Learning Station online. Today we're going to be learning about two letters and I hope you've been practicing at home. We're learning about the letter S for seal and the letter T for turtle. So now we will do our calendar. The month is April, if you remember. A P R I O, April. And we are learning about the letter S and the letter T. And those are our lively letters S, S and T. T, 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 T. Tapping. If you remember those sounds. Let's count our calendar. Get your counting voices. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Good job. Now we need to do the days of the week. Sunday, la la la, Monday, la la la, Tuesday, la la la, Wednesday, Thursday, la la la, Friday, la la la, Saturday. That makes the week. That's our whole week. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to get ready to start our letters in one minute. We have lots of fun activities today. Today we are going to read a story that I wrote and it's called The Coconut Tree. And there's a couple of things that have the letter T. T is for tree. And if we were talking about the letter S, these monkeys are sitting in the sand. The reason why I picked this particular book is because it's a silly story. And it has a silly song. So we're going to read this together. So, The Coconut Tree by Maria Longo Felix, illustrated by Stephen Felix. The Coconut Tree. On an island far away, Matt and three monkeys like to play. They got very hungry in the midday sun and wanted a snack while having fun. They saw three coconuts growing in the tree and thought just how tasty they would be. They shimmied up and shimmied down while bringing coconuts to the ground. Matt couldn't figure out how to climb until they taught him with rhythm and rhyme. Matt kept time upon his drum and sang this song and had some fun. We're going to sing the song at the end. See them shimmying up and shimmying down? The coconut tree. They called over more friends from the nearby sea, sharing coconut stories about the coconut tree. They laughed and ate in the afternoon sun. Sharing coconut stories was lots of fun. The sun went down on the island far away. They would all remember the fun they had that day. How they sang and danced and ate with their friends. Now the story of coconuts comes to an end. The end. Now we're going to sing the song about the coconut tree. You're going to shimmy up and shimmy down, bringing coconuts to the ground. Okay, friends, now we're going to do the coconut song, the silly song from the silly story. That begins with a letter S. Okay, you're gonna shimmy up and shimmy down, 
bringing coconuts to the ground. Basically, pick those coconuts, practice all those moves, and here we go. Ready, here we go. Ready. Three coconuts up the coconut tree. The monkey went to pick a coconut for me. The monkey shimmy down the tree. There were two coconuts in the tree. And we shimmy, 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 shake. Shimmy, 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 shimmy up. Shimmy, 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 shimmy down. Shimmy down the coconut tree. There were two coconuts in the coconut tree. The monkey went to pick a coconut for me. The monkey shimmy down the tree. There was one coconut in the tree. Shimmy, 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 shake. Shimmy, 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 shimmy up. Shimmy, 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 shimmy down. Shimmy down the coconut tree. How many now? Coconut tree, the monkey went to pick a coconut for me. Shimmy down the tree, there were no coconuts in the tree. Now you shimmy, 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 shake. Shimmy, 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 shimmy up. Shimmy, 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 shimmy down. Shimmy down the coconut tree. Touch your toes. Shimmy down the coconut tree. Shimmy down the coconut tree. Shimmy down the coconut tree. And boys and girls, while you're home with your parents, maybe you can write a silly song and a silly story. And when you do that, maybe you can send it to us to school. Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. Cole saying hello and guess what time of year it is again? It's Easter and I thought it would be fun to do the jelly bean prayer with you today. So here it is. I have a nice little poster here. Jelly bean prayer. Red is for the blood Christ gave. There's a red jelly bean. Green is for the grass he made. Yellow is for the sun so bright today's beautiful day orange is for the prayers at night black black is for the sins we made white is for the grace he gave purple is for his hour of sorrow Pink is for his new tomorrow. Yummy. Pink. I hope you guys get some jelly beans for Easter. Oh, that's a nice prayer to think about Easter. And remember Jesus that he rose for us. And that's why we live. Thank goodness for him. I would like for you to bow your heads right now. And fold your hands. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for our school, our teachers, our beautiful children and their families. We ask that you protect them and bless them during this time. Let them enjoy their family time together and enjoy this Easter season. Amen. May God bless all of you and have a happy Easter. I love and miss you all. Mwah. Keep tearing the paper. T is for tear. Let the kids have fun. All sizes, it doesn't matter. Keep on tearing. It's great for fine motor. And after you have a whole bunch of paper in a bowl or on the tape, tea table, I'll put some on the table for you. All different colors. And, uh, you, and if you don't have this, you can find something around the house. Children, don't tear something up. Your parents don't want you to tear. Okay, here's the glue. If, they're, if they want, they can put the glue on the paper like this. And then put the torn paper here or if they want, they can put the glue on a piece of paper like that. And then you fill in the whole T. You just keep on going, fill in, you pick all different colors, shapes. T is also for triangle. Think of all the T words you have. T is for toilet paper, which we use a lot of nowadays. Train, trouble, tip, time, tons. And then after you're done, it comes out to look like, maybe like this. And what you wanna probably do is write their name here, letter T, torn paper, project I like to do on the date, which is April 16th, 20. 
And that's our project for today. So just review your letters, A through T, up till now. And hopefully I'll be seeing you real soon. Love you lots. Miss you. Mwah. Hi guys, it's Miss Tracy. We're learning about the letter T this week. So I'm going to read a book to you called Treats from Tree. Treat starts with a T and tree starts with a T. So I'm going to begin the story. Treats from a tree. Where do rubber balls come from? Rubber trees. Where do almonds come from? Almond trees. Where does cinnamon come from? Cinnamon trees. Where does maple syrup come from? Maple trees. Where do cherries come from? Can you guess? Cherry trees. Even chocolate comes from trees. The end. Hope you enjoyed the story, guys. Love you. Bye. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Doucette. I wanted to wish you a happy Easter. Today is Good Friday, and we'll be reading a couple of different stories this morning that lead up to Easter. I miss you, and we'll get started by singing our song. You ready? Be still and know that I am Lord. A little softer. Be still and know that I am Lord. So soft I can't hear you. Okay, our first story is My Easter Basket and the True Story of Easter. Written by Mary Mans Simon. This is what it looks like. It's a wonderful story. The colors in my Easter basket are my own special way for me to tell the story of that first Easter day. The green inside my basket is like the palms that lay upon the ground for Jesus for his parade one day. And we talked about the palms that we laid last week. The purple in my basket reminds me of the time that Jesus shared his with his friends a meal of bread and wine. The red inside my basket reminds me it is true that Jesus loves us so much he died for me and you. The brown inside my basket, as dark as in the cave, reminds us of the sad peak place that was our Jesus' grave. The white inside my basket is like the angel bright, who gladly said, He's risen, our Jesus is all right. The yellow in my basket that matches the bright sun reminds us of that Easter day and what our God has done. The colors in my basket I use in my own way to tell us wondrous, the wondrous story of that first Easter day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will have life even if he dies and he who lives and believes in me will never die here we go it's a wonderful story and the next story talks a little bit about the miracles that leads up to easter we'll read this one it's called the easter story when we celebrate easter we remember that god gave us his son Jesus to be our Savior. Jesus made sick people well. He even made dead people live again. We've talked about that. Jesus chose 12 men to be his disciples. He told them that God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to die for us. 
But some people didn't want to hear about God. They didn't want to listen to Jesus. On Palm Sunday, Jesus rode into Jerusalem. People shouted, Hosanna to the King. Later, Jesus and his disciples ate a Passover supper. Jesus washed their feet to show how much he loved them. We read that story last week. After supper, they went into the garden to pray. But men who didn't like Jesus sent soldiers to arrest him. Jesus was sent to die. His disciples were very sad, but Jesus had told them that he would rise again after three days. On the third day, women went to Jesus' tomb. The tomb was open and Jesus was not there. That night, Jesus' disciples were locked in a room. Suddenly, Jesus was there. He was alive. Jesus said, go tell everyone that if a person believes in me, they will be saved and they will live forever. This is the Easter story that Jesus is alive today and because he died for us, we will live forever too. Hi boys and girls, I want to wish you a very happy Easter. I hope you and your family have a blessed Easter this Sunday. Please pray for Mrs. White. I kind of hurt my finger, kind of bad. I cut it, so I need a little bit of prayers, but I love you. And again, happy Easter to you and your family. Mwah! Hi boys and girls, so now we're in the kitchen. We're gonna make Jesus' empty tomb. So what you'll need is if you make it at home, you can also improvise, is biscuits, I bought Pillsbury. You need marshmallows, I bought the big kind. If you have the small ones, use three or four, that would work too. Um, I have a foil pan, you can spray it. I have non-stick foil that I'm gonna use, just a piece and put it in there. I'll take this and I'll put it in my pan. Just push it down. I've already washed my hands. And I have an open can already. So what I'm going to do is I'll put that there. You take your biscuit, flatten it out. Put your marshmallow. Pinch it closed all the way around. Make sure it's really pinched good so that you can't see any of the marshmallow. You think that it, just so you can see that it's all pinched closed. Put one at one end. I'll do the other one. Those are gone now. Flatten it out. So we'll go around it. Here's the other one. Put it in the middle. Pinch it all around, close it up, make sure it's in there good. Preset your oven, we'll bake for 400. And I bake them for 10 minutes, just like on the package. Preheat the oven. Okay, this is all set. You can see it's all closed up, just like that. So what we're gonna do, this is like cooking just like on TV. So what we're gonna do is, you can see, there are two right there. So we're gonna put them in the oven, and voila, oh, look at this. And they're done. And there are three right here. And when you pick them up, it is the empty tomb, just like Jesus. The marshmallow has disappeared. It's amazing. The marshmallow was just gone. So, and Jesus was just gone out of the empty tomb. So, I 
hope you enjoy your Easter. Have a wonderful day with the family at home. All right, it was great to visit with you again. And maybe you could send some pictures of um, either a project that you've done or just to say hi to us. We'd really like that and enjoy that. All right, we love you and miss you. All right, bye. Hello, boys and girls. Mrs. White's gonna show you how to print uppercase T and lowercase T. Sometimes we call it a capital T and a lowercase T. Let's start. We're gonna start at the top and we're gonna do touch, pull down, touch, pull across. That is the uppercase T or, or um, a capital T. The next one is the lowercase T, which is touch, pull down, touch, pull across. So let's try that again. Touch, pull down, touch, pull across. Touch, pull down, touch, pull across. For the letter T, our lively letter T, we put our hands out, keep our feet together, but his voice, voice is off and you'll be like t -t 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 Good job. Let's see what else we can do. Let's play our game like we do when we guess what, led, what words begin with T. I'm thinking of something that's outside right now, my, looking out my window. It has leaves on it and sometimes the leaves fall off. Let's see if you can guess what this letter, this word is beginning with T. <gasps> You're right. Mrs. White made a tree. Tree starts with T. T-R-E-E, -E, tree. Good job. Let's try another one. Hmm. Say we're outside in, in the uh, play yard where we used to play. Let's see. We might be bouncing that. We might have a... This might be filled with sand. And we might have things to play with. There could be a shovel. Oops, that's not working right. A shovel, maybe a boat, um, a sifter. And that's a sandbox. This is a ball. So we have a ball and a sandbox. Maybe we have some play trucks. What are these all called? All these things that you have fun playing with? Yes, that's correct. It's toys. Toys start with T. A ball, a sandbox with toys inside, and a truck. Those are all toys. Toys start with T. That's excellent. Let's see what else we can think of that starts with T. Hmm. Oh, I know. We have... There's our lips. Those lips don't look too good. But what's hanging out of those lips? What's this called? Yes, that's called a tongue. <laughs> and tongue. Bleh. Tongue starts with T. Good job. I can't trick any of you. So let me think of something else. Oh, I know. Sometimes daddies wear it or moms can wear them too. You can, it's whatever. We have a collar. And what do you think this is? That's right, it's a tie. Tie starts with T. So we have a tie. Let's try another one. You guys are doing so good at this. I bet you, you have a lot. How about, oh, I know. Let's count these. One, two, three, four, five. What do you think these are? Yes, they are. Those are toes. Toes start with T. Look at, count them again. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, that's a big foot with some big toes. Well, boys and girls, maybe you can go outside or inside and look around for things that start with T and you can practice your T's with your touch pull down. You can use a stick in, in on the um, dirt. You can use chalk on your sidewalk. Try to figure out what you can do with the uppercase T and the lowercase T and all the sounds it makes. I love and miss you all, and hopefully we'll see you next week on another video. Bye for now. Mwah.
Hi boys and girls, now we're going to do our letter sounds. Let's see what we can find. The letter S. 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 The S there. Let's look at some sounds. Ready? What is this a picture of? Soup. S. Soup. S. S. Soup. Our next picture is a sink. S. S. Sink. S. S. Sink. Have a sock. S -s sock. S -s sock. And we have a sun. S -s sun. S -s sun. Let's get ready for our T words. The letter T. 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 -t, -t, -t. T is for tiger. T, t, tiger. T, t, tiger. T is for turtle. T, t, turtle. T, t, turtle. T is for tooth. T, t, tooth. T, t, tooth. And T is for tie. T, t, tie. Hi. And those are our T and S words. Hi friends, I bet you a lot of you have these eggs at home now for Easter because we celebrated Easter and the Sunday we have Greek Easter so we have um, a month of Easter happening here and lots of people get these plastic eggs but what do we do with these plastic eggs when we're all finished? Here's a fun game. So some of you are learning to spell your words and these are our word families, parents. We have the at family. So on one side, we wrote A-T. On the other side of our A, we put some letters so the kids can practice their words. So we have S-A-T. Now let's turn it. R-A-T, rat. Let's see what we have now. H-A-T, hat. C A T cat. So back to S A T sat. So if you could make a number of word families. That is the at family. This is the an family. We have can, man, ran, fan. So if you make a bunch of word families, the kids who are learning about reading right now, this would be great practice. Our kiddos who are still learning about their letters. This is a great game. Capital A on one side, lowercase on the other. Capital B, lowercase b, put those all out. Capital C, lowercase c, we could do the whole alphabet. And they could find those matches, match them right up. The same color, so it's self-correcting and we could practice our letters. There's a capital A, lowercase a, and here is a uppercase B, lowercase B. So this is a great game for learning letter recognition and beginning word families. Hi boys and girls, welcome back. We have the letter S here for spider. And we're going to sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. You all know that song. And here's my son, Matt, again. And hey. he's going to join us for the Itsy Bitsy Spider. He'll play the guitar, and I will do the hand motions with you. You ready? And the spider's out. And one, two, three. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out. Spider went up the spout again. Let's do it one more time. You ready? Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout. 
out again. All right. Our next letter, the letter T. So we decided to do twinkle, twinkle, little star because twinkle starts with the letter T. Love to hear those voices and remember we do miss you very much and hope to 